Hi guys, welcome back to another Bourbon Santa video. This is Anita's Choice, and it's by um, Burnt Church Distillery. This is a six green bourbon. Now I've had three green, I've had two green, I've had four green. This is the first six grain bourbon whiskey that I've ever had. And uh, who's Anita's Choice? Anita's Choice was a suffragette and from South Carolina. This whiskey is from South Carolina, so they named this in homage to Miss Anita. And um, it's pretty cool. It's a 48.5% alcohol. Now, six grains. What well, we got six grains here for? Let's see. We have corn, rye, wheat, barley, oats, and Carolina Gold Rice. Now, this bottle was sent to me by James Kernicki. Thank you so much, buddy. We did this in a, a bottle exchange in my, my Patreon group. We do those every month. Everybody exchanges bottles from all over the country with each other. And it's awesome. If you like doing things like that, maybe check out my Patreon group. Who knows? Who knows? Lots of things are possible in there. Anyway, so this is a super interesting bourbon. I had this at a bottle share lunch that I did with uh, some guys from my local bourbon society here in West Palm Beach, Florida. And when I was over there, I tried this bourbon at, at um, I won't say the member's house, but at one of the guy's houses. And I was super intrigued by it. So immediately I, I knew I needed one. I needed to have it for the collection. And, and so then I ended up getting paired with Mr. James from North Carolina, just across the border. And, and he asked me what I was curious about. And the first thing that came to mind was this bottle. So he ran across the border and found it for me and sent it to me. So let's dive into it. I know this is obviously a very unavailable bourbon for the vast majority of you but whatever let's go and and what's interesting about this is this is two years old it's two years old let's nose it and taste it and see what we think for a two-year-old bourbon from the nose i would never guess that this is two years old it's all like orange juice a little bit of cinnamon a little bit of um there is a little bit of what's the chemical when you when you light a match the not phosphorus i can't think of the name of it there's a hint of an acrid smokiness but not in a bad way It's like orange, orange marmalade, orange zest, maybe straight up orange juice, cinnamon. The rye comes through. The wheat comes through. I'm not sure what South Carolina rice, Carolina gold rice smells or tastes like, but there are so many things going on in this glass. Beautiful vanilla. A hint of something sour, but like sour citrus as well. It's, it's just like a bouquet of citrus. A little butterscotch. A little candied apple. Let's taste it. Mmm. It goes through multiple different waves of flavor. There's almost like an orange sherbet on the very, it's just after the approach. There's, there's some oakiness, some, some funk, a little bit of graininess on the, the tip of the tongue, which might betray a little bit of that two-year age state. Then it goes that orange sherbet kind of a, a flavor then into some oaks and some vanillas and some cinnamons and some rye spice mm. 
like orange sherbet drizzled with vanilla, melted vanilla ice cream. Uh, is a, a hellacious mouthfeel and just super complex. There's so much going on. My neighbor just decided to mow his yard right while I'm filming this. So, yeah. Mmm. Oh, yeah. Cinnamon apples. After you get a couple sips in, it starts to turn more cinnamon apples, more dark, rich, like vanilla creams and caramel just drizzled on top. The hint of cereal note hangs through. That's wonderfully complex and f phenomenal for a two-year-old whiskey, two-year-old bourbon. I can't even imagine what this is going to taste like once it gets some age on it. That I hope they have a lot of stocks put down. And, and they're planning to age this up indefinitely because I can only imagine what this will taste like in another four or five years. Once this gets up around five, six, seven years old, oh my God, this stuff will be unbelievable. And then they could throw on some finishes. They could do some funky stuff, you know, with, with it once it gets around four or five years old that would just make this a world-class whiskey. And it's so fascinating to me because this is a two-year-old whiskey and, and I'm going to screw around with this two-year-old whiskey in my next video. And that stuff's crap, crap compared to this. Both two years old and, and this is just wonderfully complex and interesting and, and a fascinating bourbon. Thank you, James, for sending this to me. And thank you, Burnt Church, for, for really doing something different and unique. I absolutely love it. Six freaking grain whiskey. Who's doing this? Who? No one else is doing this. <sighs> Vanilla with citrus zest. <sighs> That's so nice. Until next time, guys, I hope you have a wonderful day.